Hello and welcome to IsoMath. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the unit circle and the length of circular arcs. Here we're asked to find the circular arc on the unit circle corresponding to a 90 degree angle. Remember, as a refresher, we always start from the positive x-axis and measure positive angles in the counterclockwise direction. So this here, green line here, forms a 90 degree angle. So we know this is 90 degrees, but what we're really interested in what we're really interested in is to find out this arc length that wraps around the unit circle to that point. So we're trying to find the distance, the arc length. That, we, that is, if we took a string and we straightened it out, we want to find out that arc length. Here's how we solve that problem. What we want to know is what percentage or what proportion is 90 degrees of the entire circle. We know that the entire circle or degrees around the circle is 360 degrees. So that makes 90 degrees is going to be 90 degrees over 360 degrees will give me the proportion that this little segment is of the entire circle. And the other thing we got to draw on is our prior knowledge of the circumference of a circle. Remember the circumference of a circle is simply 2 pi r. But in this case because I'm dealing with the unit circle we know that my r value is going to have a value of 1. So this comes out to be 90 degrees over 360 which is the proportion of the circle times 2 pi times 1 with and now through my my simplification I, this comes out to being obviously 1 fourth 2 pi which leaves me with 2 pi over 4 or simply pi over 2 so what that tells me is that this arc length from here to here has a measure of pi over 2 now let's think for a moment and see if that makes sense well, we know that going around the entire circle, on the unit circle, that is, is 2 pi r. And since I'm only traveling a quarter of the distance, is half pi a reasonable answer? And, of course, the answer is yes. If I go halfway around the circle, that's going to be a pi. So if I'm only going a quarter way around the circle, that's going to be a half pi. So, yes, it makes sense. Now, the formula that we can come up with to simplify this utilizes, draws on the fact that you're taking this segment with respect to the entire circle, which is 360 degrees. And that formula simply comes out as the angle measure, or theta in this case, over 360 degrees, multiplied by the entire, around the unit circle, 2 pi. Which comes out to being theta times 2 pi over 360 degrees. Or after simplification, that simply just comes out to being theta pi over 180. So that is actually the formula that we're going to get. So we just simply plug in the angle that we have and multiply by pi and divide it by 180. Now we normally carry the pi in this case because we're always going to be looking for exact values. We can see that this makes sense that the circumference of a circle is, on the unit circle is 2 pi. When I have a number line here from negative half pi to half pi, and if I simply wrap that number line around the circle, circumference of the circle, you can see that I ends up being 2 pi. And more importantly, from my previous example, when I just go to uh, angle corresponding to 90 degrees, you can see that if I stretch that straight number line and wrap it around a string around the unit circle, the arc length, 1 comma 0 to 0 comma 1, has an arc length of half pi according to the number line. So that makes sense in this case. So again, taking that number line and wrapping it around, I can find out the distance that I, if I was an ant and I had to walk around the circle, I could find out the distance I would have to travel to each, hit each point around the circle. So if I want to find the arc length of an angle measure on the unit circle of 30 degrees, what I'm looking for again, the circle arc length is that. And the way I use it is using my proportion here. I'm going to have 30 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. And obviously it's through simplification that simply just comes down to being pi over 6. So this particular arc length is equivalent to pi over 6. That's how we utilize the formula. Hope this helps and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson where we're going to be talking about special angles within the unit circle. Until then, keep on checking back to IsoMath for all your math needs and we'll see you soon.